Hi guys, I'm back. I'm making another video. I'm doing the thing that apparently people enjoy. Because my channel has now got a following of 17,000 subscribers and I'm sorry, I I don't mean to keep bringing up the numbers as though the numbers matter, but here's the thing. I just sort of made a couple of YouTube videos for a bit of funsies, a bit of see what happens kind of thing and it's attracted a very very large crowd of people very 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 large crowd of people more people that showed up to tanacon um that's not tea or shade or whatever i'm just like blown away that this is what's going on i don't understand why it's happening but it's happening apparently yeah so another video i will admit i filmed this footage in may and it is now july so Clearly, I have a serious problem with procrastination, and I should not be allowed to function as a human until I get my procrastination brain cell just wiped out, burned in a fire, have its ashes buried deep, deep, deep down near the core of the earth. That's what needs to happen. So, artwork. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm filling a whole page in my sketchbook. That doesn't happen very often, um, but it, it's it's happening. So, uh, yeah, it's a girl who is crying under a tree. That's depressing. I'm sorry. I, uh, oh god, I, I've forgotten how to talk. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I can't really remember where the inspiration for this came from. I think I was having a bit of a long week where I was just like, you know what? Life is kind of stressful. So I took it out on my sketchbook and drew stuff like this. And I'm making lines with a Copic multiliner. Yeah. In 0 0.1. Cause it's a good, it's a good line, line thickness for the, uh, the skinny lines? What am I do words? Descriptions. Things. Um Yes, so I decided to experiment this time with making a slightly more um detailed tree. Cause while I really like drawing trees and have quite a bit of experience drawing trees, you should have seen the the broccoli like cloud and stick trees that I did when I was a kid. I was so good at drawing trees. I should really try and do that again. Anyway. What was I saying? Yes, so, while I really like drawing trees, um, I don't do a lot of detailed trees, and so I decided to sort of go ahead and do that today. And I like it. I think it looks good. But I'm not sure that I'll do it again, because I it took me about two hours to <laughs> ink in this entire tree. Um, yeah, it was a bit like playing uh, Tetris. I've never played Tetris. But I'm assuming that Tetris is kind of like this. You've got to fit all of these squares. I'm doing quotations with my fingers right now because they're not really squares. They're rectangles or they're, they're barky rectangles. You have to fit those squares in with each other. It's like that. It's like that math problem. Does anyone remember that math problem where it was like, are these tessellating shapes or not tessellating shapes? I'm really hoping that the word was tessellations, otherwise I'm going to sound like an idiot. I'll have to Google that later. Um, yes, now I'm doing thick line art so that the parts that I want to stand out will stand out more than the parts that I don't want to stand out, which is the bark, because the bark is meant to sort of just be a texture, whereas the, um, the tree silhouette needs to stand out more. Yes, words, I'm doing so well at this now. I just, oh, I just needed to warm up a bit. Okay, so now I'm flat washing, because in case you hadn't noticed, my favorite water tongue, <sighs> tongue don't fail me now. My favorite watercolor method is flat washing and making the flat wash, I'm watching myself do it on screen and I'm realizing how not flat that wash is and now it's annoying me. But that's okay because texture. Texture is a theme in this painting and, you know, if you accidentally make texture then you can just say, you know, it's art. I'm I'm just making the texture and I, I meant to do that. Yeah, that's... 
Hi, cat. Cat is destroying plastic bags. Is the cat gonna get in the window? Cat. Now that the cat is gone, we can go back to talking about the art stuffs. All right, so I'm still flat washing. Shocker. So one of the things that takes the most time, time I've noticed with watercolor is mixing colors because you never really know what kind of a wash you're going to get. Um, oh, that that's not true. Uh, you never know how opaque your paint is going to be. You always have to test it out on like a swatch bit of paper first, just to like double check. And if you're doing what I'm doing, which is glazing, then you're going to get a slightly different color because it's going over a different color. You know what I mean? I'm hoping you know what I mean. Um, yes. So now I'm attempting to add some values into the painting because obviously I didn't want the painting to be too light and airy and pastel. It's meant to be a bit bit more subdued, a bit more sad, I suppose, and dark, but not dark in the the scary sense, but dark in the, I, I don't know, I suppose it could be dark in the scary sense, I have no idea, I don't, I don't know how to explain, I'm just the artist, I do the thing, that's how this works, um, okay, cool, now I'm doing her jeans, she's a cool, grungy girl with ripped jeans, hashtag free the knee, hashtag yes, I watch Dan is not, a, that's not a hashtag, okay, words. Um, yeah, so to design the girl, I went on Pinterest and just like looked up a whole bunch of aesthetically pleasing grungy outfits and mashed something together because that's how, that's how I roll. That's, that's how I make the majority of my artworks. Now I'm doing her hair. And I've been experimenting with this whole thing where I do like slightly lighter shade of hair color as bubbles that are highlight. Yep, that's that's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I'm going with. Okay, now I'm darkening her skin because I have a real problem with making skin dark enough. Usually, like I think it's one of the first things that I do. Um, or. Yeah, it's one of the first things that I do. And compared to the white paper, when I put it down, it's very light. And then when I do all the other colors and all the other values, it's kind of, no wait, it's not very light, it's very dark. And then when I do all the other colors, it's very light. So I need to learn to be a bit braver with my layers and go a little darker every now and again. Um. I find it kind of ironic that this artwork is kind of sad looking, but at the same time, um, it's got kind of a warm color palette to it. And as you can see, I'm doing like a thin wash of um, like a, a brownie color to give it a bit more of a sepia look. And now the white balance is just shot because... <laughs> Um, it's shot to oblivion because it, that's my bedroom light. Yeah, because it got dark over the time period that I was painting and I had to turn on my light if you wanted any of the remainder of the footage. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's very much else to say about this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for disappearing. If you have any new video ideas, then let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I... Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you again soon. Goodbye.